Hi everyone, Magnus of Team X Rockets here. I'm about to show you uh, a thing that I wrote yesterday, yesterday evening. Uh, I have been playing around a little bit with the new APIs, new API called Get User Media, uh, which uh, gives us the opportunity or the possibility to, to access local devices uh, and subscribe to the streams, the multimedia streams. In my case, I am using the video stream. Uh, and I want to, to show you how we can broadcast the video stream over web sockets and subscribe to those uh, and share the, 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 the media. Uh, what I have here is a simple web page. Uh, just um, uh, hook me up to our xsockets.net web, uh, <coughs> web socket server using the generic text um, web socket handler. Uh, I'm using the a night to build of Oprah, which give me the opportunity to use uh, the new API. Get um, get using media. Um, I have been um, configuring Opera to allow uh, camera access to canvas copy as well as enabling web sockets uh, in Opera. Uh, you can see down here down below that I'm accessing the media source element. Uh, I will check if uh, we have the possibility to use the get using media API. Uh, we have a subscription to the stream and we have to get a success callback and on the success callback, we just set the source of the video element to, to the stream. Um, this is how, how the element looks like. We have a regular HTML5 video, video source, video element. Uh, further on, uh, we have a canvas element. Uh, what I do is that um, for each frame in the, in the video, I copy the, uh, the stream uh, to the canvas. Then I grab the data from the canvas as base64. Uh, the reason of why I'm using base64 is that, as I know, uh, the open implementation of WebSockets doesn't support blobs yet. Um, so let us see how it can look like. I will just fire up uh, my, my web browser uh, and let's see, pull this down and open up uh, the client within Opera. Uh, reload the page. You can see a video here of me. Uh, that's the video element that you see uh, uh, the image of me now. Uh, down below you have a canvas element. Uh, and if I hit start now, I will start grabbing those frames and put them upon the canvas element as you see down below. Uh, we also can see in the state div that we are connected to the xsockets.net WebSocket server. Uh, in this case, I will open up a client. In this case, it's a Chrome client subscribing to the same socket um, as we send the information to. Uh, as you see, we're able to, to grab the screen. Um, I can also open up yet another window just to show you how it can look like. Pull it down a little bit. And if I wave, you see that the video element is updating as well as the canvas element in the server uh, in the right window uh, as well as the, the, um, the subscribers also updates during um, my, my demonstration. Uh, we can also have a look at the XSocket server. And we can see that we have <coughs> has, uh, sent uh, a couple of messages through the server. Uh, let us update and see. Um, as you see, the amount of uh, data is changing quite rapidly. Um, we are sending the, the frames each uh, half second. Uh, we can also try to um, change the speed um, by changing this one to 100 milliseconds. Uh, let us uh, shut down the listeners this way uh, and make a refresh. Uh, we'll be right on this way and shut down Chrome and hit a refresh within the Opera client. And do the same thing once over again. Uh, I'm now sending data a little bit faster from the, the Opera client uh, streaming the video. Uh, let's do it this way and open up Chrome once again. Uh, in this case, open up the listener. Uh, probably we will have uh, better, better speed now. Let's load in the page. It seems like it takes a while. For some reason, yeah, there it comes. Now we have uh, 
a couple of more frames uh, broadcasted to the to the listener. So uh, let's have a look uh, at the listener. The listener is just a simple web page. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, noticed, there was a counter, which is this uh, very cool T. For each on-stream message we will receive from the Opera client or the other client sending the information, I just put the, the, the blog URL as the image source at this is page 64. Uh, th that is pretty much the thing. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you also uh, uh, can see what benefits we will have from uh, this new get media user media API. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Goodbye.